After leaving art college, I just kept on going. I felt that I could and took part in as many exhibitions as possible throughout the 80s and in the 90s. I got to know Catherine Williams and he was just so kind and so supportive to me. And it was Caffeine who introduced me to Thackeray Gallery in the year 2000. My relationship with Thackeray Gallery has changed everything for me and it's created a real stability and structure which wouldn't have been possible before then. I've had a solo exhibition every two years since 2003 and each of those solo exhibitions has been a sort of a a stepping stone for me in, in the development of my work. The time between the biennial exhibitions has allowed me to do very enriching things such as take up part-time postgraduate studies in printmaking. 2012, I was able to spend three months working in Columbia University, New York, developing experimental large-scale works on paper. With the support of the Arts Council of Wales, I was able to spend a month in 2016 in India developing new work in fabrics and stitch inspired by the Mughal paintings. In my studio, I like to have several works on the go at one time and I move them around constantly. It helps to have music and as I'm getting older, I seem to be choosing more dance music music with a pulse, music which feels energetic to me and that seems to help me progress. I always work standing up, even the stitched pieces are worked standing up and just pinned onto the wall loosely. I was pleased to be able to create the stitched piece, the garden for the exhibition. It's hand stitched using linen and silken threads and there's applied areas. It's created with a rich flowing surface. The group that I'm presenting in this exhibition are the latest in this ongoing series in the valley, which is looking at a place which is most familiar to me. So this will be my 10th solo show at Thackeray Gallery and there'll be 30 works on display. They're a a mix from the point of view of scale and technique.